Maka. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, now somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Come here. <laughs> yep. Let's go then. <laughs> You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubtin' Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Ah! And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, Whoa. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? OK, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Up 
there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, there's a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd cop? He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> 
Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Gorm. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, we lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
Home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <clears throat> My dear boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. Does. Oh, yeah. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly! Good day, Mr. Morgan. Maybe they're right. Miss Grimshaw? Ah, you're looking much better. I was worried. Yeah. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Okay. Mount up then. Let's go. Okay, fella. You know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. So, where are we headed? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Do you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me.
Not far now. Let's cut up this way. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Time to go, boy. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Oh. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look.
haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Fools shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. No! Oh! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Major, watch, pistol.
Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where's all this old crap? God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you!
Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Pistol.
forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't say. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Open your eyes, fool. Good-looking horse there. I'm happy to stable that for you. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me.
please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. Ah, uh, you're just putting me on. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Come on now. It's me. Welcome back, Arthur. Quite a ride since Blackwater. Since that thing on the boat? You boys know all about that. At least, you know enough. I'm still trying to forget. Got my wings clipped there, then nearly got eaten by a pack of wolves. Maybe I should learn my You know, lesson. these hides and furs can also be done just, up into coats and boots and Dutch such. Learned his. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian fella. Dutch. Skill tanner. You don't know that. He can make just but about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Man. Okay, I'll keep my I know. eye out for him. But don't you overcook this. Sometimes I'll start here. thinking about that girl. Well, Javier knows what we saw, and it won't be able to make something nice with that. Ask Micah. Although, he encouraged it. We're pretty at all. I just hope Dutch was right when he said that we had to do it to survive. Sometimes, you just gotta do really bad things, I guess. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Thank you, Arthur. Next plane, then. You boys bring me. Yeah, I want to live. One hot head is enough. <laughs> hey, Micah. You're alive. Good. Now that was some business, all right. We are never falling right. for something that dumb again. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Five finger fillet right now, one of you. You don't have to ask me twice. And ready, set.
I'd watch this. Good time, thank you. Fine, fine. Hey, Arthur. You awake yet? Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes! Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out a hat. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay, thanks.
Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Gap! Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Dear boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. What the hell is this? Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Hey, there it is. Where are you going? Right on time. Get back Let's here. Go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And 
Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Benefit to the opera. So, it's black water. Did you say Mrs. Chester Damson? I'm flattered, <laughs> but he. Now stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Could, could, could you? It's such a Here. I'm looking at all this. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. Oh, won't you be quiet, you horrible little man? One more time, from the top. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough, but Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur.
Whiskey kind of morning. <laughs> How's it going? Well, still alive. Good. 